Although the name Alpine is still young to Formula One, the Enstone-based team has a long and storied history in the sport. Renault has claimed many championships and victories, so the rebranded Alpine is hoping to do the same in this new era. Alpine sees no major management changes ahead of this new season. First entering F1 under the name Alpine in 2021, they've managed to grab one race victory along with two podium finishes, and they finished off 2022 as best of the rest with a fourth place, the highest so far in Alpine's team history. Now they start a new chapter with a fresh driver lineup for 2023, so let's meet the drivers now. At 27 years of age, Pierre Gasly is entering his sixth season of Formula One. This will be the third team he's driven for, and he's hoping the move to Alpine will add to his career totals of one victory and three podiums. He slid down the order last year finishing 14th in the Drivers' Championship, but he managed to net an estimated $5 million a year in 2022. Fellow Frenchman Esteban Ocon is starting his fourth season at the Enstone outfit at the age of 26. In 111 Grand Prix starts, he has one career victory and another two podium finishes that all came with this team. He had a career-high finish in the championship last season, finishing in 8th place and beating his teammate for the first time in his career. Now let's meet some of the key personnel leading Alpine F1 team. Otmar Safnauer is entering his second season as team principal of Alpine. Over 20 seasons of F1 experience under his belt, the Romanian-American has spent the majority of his career with the Silverstone team, now known as Aston Martin, after having started in Formula One with BAR back in 1998. He took over team principal duties with Alpine at the start of 2022. Matt Harmon will return as Alpine's technical director for this year after Pat Fry assumed the chief technical director role. Harmon mainly had experience working in the powertrains department for Mercedes before he joined Renault in 2018 and became the deputy chief designer. He was promoted to technical director shortly thereafter. Alpine's reserve driver for 2023 will be Jack Dewan. The Aussie is embarking on his second full season of Formula 2. In 30 career F2 starts, he's won three Grand Prix while taking two poles and six podiums as well. He has a best championship finish of sixth place which came in 2022. And finally, the A523 will be Alpine's 2023 challenger. The team will run the pink livery for the first three races of this season, while the blue and pink livery will be present for the rest of 2023. The A523 is made of a molded carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb structure. Alpine made some changes to the rear suspension, as now both the front and rear suspensions are pushrod configurations. Alpine is still the only team to be powered by the 1.6 liter Renault V6 engine. So that'll do it for your 2023 Formula One team profiles. We hope you have enjoyed watching this series and that you learned something about your favorite team. Make sure to leave us a like and a comment and also check out the rest of the teams in this series.